And so we became interested as a young child in uh, art. Uh, we were brought to a showing of the group of seven. And I remember seeing some of the Tom Thompson, and, you know, some of the works that were just, it was trees and rocks I was looking at, but it wasn't at the same time. I could tell that there was art involved with this. I didn't know it at the time though. And as I got older, I started uh, seeing pictures by a guy named Marshall Erisman. And this guy, he's alive today. I think he's the most amazing living artist. He led me to Francis Bacon, who's a huge uh, influence on me. So I decided, well, why can't I do this as well? So I jumped in the deep end and I started uh, learning my own techniques, finding out my own way. And I couldn't find the proper tools. The tools that are out there are, are ones that most people would use. And I didn't want to use what most people use, like paint brushes, for example. I barely use them. So I went out and made some tools. I got the paint and I dove in and from there, you have what you will see at the show. Okay, I'm really interested in the uh, figurative expressionism, like where I like to see that it is an object there, I can identify it, but I don't like it to be as in a photograph. I don't want it to be so, you know, I know that I understand and respect the technique of that, but it's just not my interest. I want something to draw me in and makes me, make me question, you know, what I'm seeing or what the artist was thinking. And uh, that's basically what I'm trying to do here, is I, I want people to look at it. I was told once that the average person goes to an art gallery and they look at a painting for like two or three seconds, something like this. And I thought, well, if I can get them to look at it for four or five, you know, that's on my way of doing something. And uh, a lot of times I think I have accomplished that.